that's me. So, a few days ago I was going through YouTube, like you do, like I do. And I stumbled across this little video that popped up in my feed of uh, The Road to Greatness. Now, if you're a PlayStation guy, chances are you've seen these videos where basically they get a big truck full of, full of PlayStations and games and VR and all this stuff, and live stage and stuff and drop on to a series of towns throughout North America and only North America coming to that um, and go hey look at all this look at all this awesome PlayStation stuff and you know give a big up to the users and all the rest of it and you know this is for the players and all that sort of usual PlayStation goodness now at the end of the video that I saw it said submit a video you know for our perusal and if we like it you know, you can c will come to your town. Then was the stinger in the T's and C's. The stinger being only America. Yep. And I'd actually, even though you know Sony's not going to come here and do that, I'm still going to make a bid. This is the bid. Okie dokie. Are you ready for this, ladies and gentlemen? Hold on to your hats. Sony, I, Zenbloke, PlayStation fan from the beginning, with a Gen 1 original PlayStation, alright, I played that sucker hard, I didn't even have a memory card when I first started, okay, I had three games at the beginning, every game I had to play completely from scratch every single time and I did I had Ridge Racer I had Tekken I forget what the other one is for the now because it, well, it was a long time ago but we're talking like what 22 years come on all right I lost my PlayStation eventually I got a DualShock control you know the the, the DualShock controller for it I got my PS2 I had my PS3 I still have my PS3 I would still have my PS2 except I kind of had to sell it for one to get my PS3 and two to actually make space because I've only got so much. Okay, I have a proper OLED Vita. I have PSVR. Right. I have only first party peripherals. I have the BD remote for PS4 and for PS3. I have the actual proper recharge unit for my PlayStation Moves, of which I have two. And I had two back when Move was a big thing because I actually believed in Move. If you go through my trophies, you'll see that I, I have played a series of Move games, including my favourite of all, The Fight Lights Out. And I, chuffing, love that game. I am PlayStation Hardcore, but... In my, I have come to realise over the years that it can't all just be PlayStation. That's why on my YouTube channel, I am a neutral gamer, but at the core, I always love PlayStation. And I have done since the beginning. I have championed PlayStation, but as when you love something as much as I do, you can see its flaws. And I have admittedly spoken on those flaws. The lack of PSN name change is a, a certainly an issue the various bugs and stuff that have come up over the years but through it all I still love PlayStation I still choose PlayStation over all else because that's where I've always felt gaming really is for me personally I'm hardcore about this I wouldn't have gone and bought a Vita on day one I wouldn't stood in line on a cold November Scottish night being first for PS4 alright and there's footage of it on this channel you can see that alright I am a fan straight up complete fan I love PlayStation I love what you guys do and when you love something you do see some perfections and this is this has been noted by me 
in moments before. But I want to be clear and honest and upfront with you. Now, I dearly, honestly, really wish that you would come to Scotland and come to my home city of Edinburgh. Why? It's quite simple. Over all the years, right, up in, we have, we here in Europe have supported you, Sony. We were the ones that were giving you the big sales figures during the years of the 360 when uh, all, pretty much most of the North American gamers were going, oh, yeah, we'll buy Xbox, it's cheaper, and they're online. You know, it's like, uh, yeah. Okay, they had the online first, but you had to pay for it. Now, you guys, still on PS3 and still on Vita, you don't have to pay for the online. You have to pay for the online with PS4. And your your man, Andy House, came on and said, well, this is for improvements to the PSN. So, you know, that is a thing. But the fact of the matter is, Europe has been good to PlayStation. And what do we usually get over here? we get the occasional thing happening in London. There's more to Britain than London, right? And quite frankly, there's more to Europe than London, all right? Think of when you launched the 20th edition, 20 year edition PlayStation 4 in original PS4 colors, sorry, PlayStation colors. You launched that system for sale in limited numbers of 1,994 units in one store in the middle of London for one day. Now, people like me, way at the other end of the country, right, we were basically expected to give our bosses like zero notice, spend a boatload of money to get down to London, find a store in a city that was unfamiliar to us, and maybe, maybe get in a, a space in a line to buy a system that was going to be bought by other people who were going to buy it and then scalp it on eBay, you know? And I could go on with various other things. I was first for PS4, as I've already stated, in my city. All right? I was at the flagship store in Edinburgh. I got a goodie bag. You know? That was it. The guy who was first in London got treated like a king. You know? It's like... What? Do we do not matter here? Because sometimes it feels that way, Sony. You know? I mean, some of us have been there with the great PSN crash. You know? Been, have been here of all kinds of things and seen all kinds of nonsense. You know? And I'm not just some fly-by-night COD player. Nothing against COD, but, you know, that is a thing. You know, I'm not just some guy that plays a bit of FIFA here and there. I'm PlayStation Hardcore. Always have been. Always will be, even though the times you have annoyed me. You have greatly entertained me over the years. And you've always surprised me with your showings at E3. And even and more even so with PSX, which I love to watch. And I just wish I could show bits of on my YouTube channel without getting content claimed. You know, <laughs> with such total Nintendo moves. Okay? Whew. Right, so basically, rounding it out, I got the love. You need to show the love. Come to Edinburgh. Please? Okay, dokie, guys, so that is my bid towards PlayStation. Maybe you'd like to put your own bid in. I know that they're not going to ever do Europe, because... We don't matter. But there you go. 
Anyway guys, you know the drill. Rate, favourite, comment, share and subscribe. And of course, as always, I may bother.